All right, guys, as always, every month we will take a look at the next card that will probably come within the next pack. Note here that we will get a new pack next Monday. If you have not seen the video concerning this pack, go check that out. It will be linked in the top right corner. Uh, there will be new cards from the brand new set that has not even yet released in the OCG Supreme Darkness, but only two and a very weak ones. Uh, kind of like with the Promethean Princess we had uh, last year. So this will probably be some kind of reprint pack with not that many amazing cards. So what we are talking about here today is the next real selection pack that will come out uh, round about probably the 10th of the next month. So the 10th of November that will be. And we'll take a look at how we are or where we are at the release cycle right now um, because for the last few months, Konami has definitely released, I guess, in the right order because they sometimes just give us stuff that has not yet even been released. For example, the Snake Eye stuff that they gave us early. But for the last few months, they basically followed the uh, main release structure, I would say, um, obviously giving us like complete archetypes or complete new support waves when they were like separated by a few uh, different booster packs. Like we got the entire Tenpai support in one uh, swoop, uh, basically. Uh, where the Genroku and the Sangen Keiho were um, cards that were released later on, but we got them uh, in yeah, right from the beginning, you could say. So we have Legacy of Destruction, we have finished the other sets, we have Legacy of Destru uh, Destruction, which we are on right now, and we will probably see the most cards uh, from the next uh, main selection pack, um, and being here from Legacy of Destruction, I would guess. We have this Silent Magician gadget trio, this, this anime theme here, which um, there's also the Millennium Arc, we will take a look at uh, this in a second, but we have this anime theme here that could definitely come with the Jandora G, the Dragon of Destruction. Um, not really something that is any way meta relevant we have ancient gear that we have already gotten then one a very obvious candidate and this is something that i would definitely say we will get in the next selection pack is the melodious stuff so this is my number one prediction honestly the melodious stuff the melodious new support wave uh, very strong they get uh, their own branded fusion uh, sort of you could say i think that we will get uh, the last remaining support cards that we have not yet gotten from this pack for example snake eyes diabels are for snake eyes as well as diabels uh, the original sin keeper for Mostly Chimera, then we have Ragnar Raika that uh, we already have in the game. We have the Temper Dragon stuff. And then you can see that we basically have all of the other stuff. We have Lightsworn stuff. We have the um, yeah, Centurion stuff. Um, then there are a few uh, not that relevant cards that will come um, from uh, here to there. So, so we'll just release and uh, they don't really belong to an entire archetype. Uh, we have the new support wave for Voices. Voice. We have this already. There is Barka and it wall the new boss monsters or fusion monsters for Melodious. We will get them, I will guess. Then we have uh, the Memen Totland support, which we already have, but I can definitely see us getting the new Memento support from the next set within the next selection pack. There's the Tenpai stuff here, and then we have the Goblin Biker stuff. Varudras is a very important card that is still missing, would be very nice for you, Bell. This is basically like a Baron of Fleur, but a bit better that you can make with two level 10 monsters. And then you can see we have the Ragnar Raka stuff here, and then Shining Sarcophagus, so this anime style um yeah uh, basically package that i've just mentioned and the other stuff we already have in the game so metal thrones for example i guess in the next pack we can definitely see the rest of this package so that we can finally finish it that will be the shining sarcophagus together with the cards that we have looked at in the beginning the science swordsman the silent magician gadget trio the marshmallow and a jandora g the dragon of destruction which is the uh, cover art of the legacy of destruction and then we will most likely see uh, the support cards for melodious definitely making melodious a player in the game then again into a maxi meta it's not that great because it will summon a lot but yeah melodious and this anime type here will probably be within the next selection pack and then we have battle of legends terminal revenge where we have received a lot of cards within the uh, the last packs full armored utopic ray lancer the new ice barrier stuff we already received received Gen uh, Genix uh, in the last pack. Or was it the last pack? No, it wasn't the last pack, right? But Genix in the pack before. Uh, the Infernal stuff in the last pack, this was um, together with the Spiritual Ritual Beast thing, the last real archetype support from uh, this pack here. Um, yeah, and we basically have everything, every important card that we would need to receive from this pack. We already have. You can see the Sky Striker stuff, the Phantom of Ubel, um, the Ancient Gear stuff, and then we are officially on the Infinite Forbidden, basically. So we will see um, some cards from 
from a Le Legacy of Destruction and then I also think that we will see the first cards from Infinite Forbidden and the most important archetypes here are the Millennium Archetype where you can play the new Exodia basically uh, which is I think a spell trap negate we will see this in a moment the gimmick puppet um, archetype support which gives them a new first turn kill I guess this will probably be in some shape or form um, hit or banished before releasing into the game because um, yeah Konami doesn't really like these kinds of of uh, strategies being in the game uh, which I can understand then a real fan favorite in White Forest uh, which is definitely I, I'm not quite sure whether we will see White Forest within the next pack because it seems to be the case that Konami gives us a good pack and then a worse pack and then again a good pack and as White Forest is a very fan favorite archetype I guess we will have to wait a moment for this to appear then we obviously have the Fiendsmith engine which is a really really big one um, that definitely changes the game up a lot will go into a lot of different decks you can play this in memento you can play this in snake eyes you can play this in unchained you can play this in a lot of decks telemans was playing this package uh, in rescue ace um, so there's a lot of space to put the fiendsmith engine in this will be the next big thing releasing that's for sure i don't really think that we will get this in the next pack since they have basically drained our resources on tenpai at this moment might be the case but i don't really think so and uh, we might definitely see the last remaining support cards for centurion as well as uh, memento so the sleepy as well as the new fusion monster and then we have centurion r tree and we will get a new centurion synchro monster but this i think is not in this set but a set afterwards there's the new dry Trun support in this pack here and then we will start getting the mulch armies mulch army purulia as well as Fuvaros and then the newly announced one which basically gives us a card when a summoned from the graveyard or from the banishment. These will at some point, I think prediction time, replace Maxi but um, this is definitely in the future. The new Drytron stuff I've just talked about, this is the Exodia that belongs to the uh, Millennium cards that we have taken a look at. Here's the Fiendsmith stuff, uh, the new uh, Memento Tiklan Tetuchlika Creation King boss monster that can send stuff to the graveyard that you will definitely play at two in Memento so I could definitely see us getting the rest of the Memento support within the next pack. Here are the boss monsters for the white wood cards and then here is the gimmick puppet stuff and these are and once again Fiendsmith these are the most uh, yeah relevant ones you can also see there is more Ragnarok support but this didn't really <laughs> yeah didn't really make a big difference we have the new Madolche support which we have um, already talked about probably being in the pack that we will get within a week um, because the pack uh, has kind of like a name that would support my Dolce support stuff. A cool card in a Shiloh Rabbit that can set uh, trap cards that can be monster cards so you can summon them from the trap zone from the spell trap zone into the monster zone and then they have effects you can make this with two effect monsters it's a very nice very generic card that will be a cool introduction into the game also a very fair one in my opinion we can see the millennium Ankh um, being part of the millennium archetype the new field spell for uh, the gimmick puppet um, for the give you puppet cards which basically protects you monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle and are unaffected by the activated effect of your opponent monsters except their xyz monsters not only during main phase one uh, like it is with tenpai but for like every phase basically here's the white forest stuff and then fiendsmith and uh, another centurion support stuff so these are the most important archetypes um, being supported within this next pack so if i would need to make a final prediction i would say that we will see uh, this um, this um, anime support stuff here as well as Melodious. I think Melodious is a pretty pretty safe bet getting this into the next pack so we can finish uh, this Legacy of Destruction core booster set. We will probably see cards like the Snake as Diabelsta which is definitely overdue as well as Diabelsi and then <clears throat> we will see the first stuff in my opinion from the Infinite Forbidden but here it's very tricky to really tell what we might get here. The Millennium cards uh, could be a candidate for the pack that we will get next week Week, but I don't think that the packs we will get next week will have a lot of new cards but more reprints but we will have to see and then when it comes to the question which of these archetypes will be in the next selection pack it's really hard I can definitely see the remaining support cards for stuff like Memento for Centurion um, but um, talking about the big new archetypes I'm not quite sure whether we will get White Woods giving Puppet or uh, Fiendsmith if I would need to pick one I guess I would pick, uh, put uh, pick my god pick a 
gimmick puppet, as I don't think that we will get the big ones, Fiendsmith and uh, White Woods, which are definitely fan favorite ones and very, very meta impactful ones right after Temper. I don't really think so. So if I would need to pick, I would put the gimmick puppet support here first. But as I already said, I think the safe bets are definitely Melodious as well as the rest of the support cards from Legacy of Destruction. And then we will move on to the Infinite Forbidden. And as I already said, the new cards that we will get next week are from uh, the um, product that has not yet been released in the OCG and in the TCG. Um, so uh, Supreme Darkness. And we might see more cards from Supreme Darkness. We might also see some cards from Rage of the Abyss, the Dragon support, the uh, water support here um, and then you have the goblin biker remaining cards new support for fiendsmith but obviously this doesn't make sense if we don't have the fiendsmith stuff first so i don't think we will see something from rage of the abyss but the stuff i just talked about but now let me know in the comments what do you think will be next what are you most excited for when it comes to the next big archetype supports let me know in the comments if you like my videos please consider subscribing hitting a thumbs up and the notification bell and we will see each other in the next one